So I've made a couple of videos until now about how to use Zimrider to write SEO content, but I've never actually given my opinion on it. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you my review of Zimrider and what I actually think of it and the pros and cons of using the software. So firstly, what is Zimrider? So Zimrider is an AI SEO content writing tool that will basically spit out content for you that you can use on your website that is optimized for ranking on Google and for SEO purposes. Now, it uses ChatGPT's API to write this content. So it's essentially using ChatGPT and I guess program to spit out content in a way that's more SEO friendly. Now, I'm not going to show you how to use Zimrider in this video because I've already made an in-depth video on how to use Zimrider. So if you haven't watched that, I'm gonna put a link above and in the description below. So you can go and watch that video and I show you an in-depth process of how I actually write an article in front of you in that video. So if you want to know that, go watch this one. And this one, I'm just going to tell you what I think about it. So this is Zimrider. This is the interface of the latest version that got released recently, was recently updated. And basically it's got a bunch of different options that you can use to write SEO content. Now, what are the actual pros and cons of Zimrider? So obviously there's a bunch of AI tools out there for writing SEO content and they'll all have their positives and negatives. So I wanna go over these with you in terms of Zimrider, what's well, been based on my experience. I've been using Zimrider for a couple of months now, and so obviously I've got a little bit of experience. I've figured out what things work well and what don't. Now, I just wanna state clearly here as well that aside from having an affiliate link, which I'm gonna put below this, if you wanna get Zimrider and you can get $15 off the lifetime price, which Matt's been kind enough to give me through my link, other than that link, I have no other affiliation to Zimrider. So this is purely my honest review on what I have found based on my experience. So firstly, with the pros, there's a lot of very, very good things about Zimrider that I really, really like. And this is why I actually do use it, which is also why I do recommend buying it because I think it's good. So it's actually very good for research, writing content, getting ideas, and putting it all together in an SEO friendly format that you can use on your website without having to do a lot of the work yourself. So if you've been writing articles, you'll know that it takes hours sometimes to figure out the background and all the information that you need, gather it all, find it all, see if it's actually true and put it all together in a format that is actually going to rank. Whereas Zimwriter, just does it for you very, very quickly. So that's one of the huge positives of it. It's extremely cheap to write articles. So articles typically cost between one and 10 cents, which you pay to the chat GPT for their API usage. But basically I, I write tons of articles every month and my bill last month was like $3 or something. So it's, it's basically free almost, aside from the cost that you have for Zimwriter, obviously. Now it's actually pretty easy to use. Everything is pretty logically laid out. I believe Matt is an engineer, which explains why it's logical, but everything is pretty easy to follow once you actually know how to work your way around the interface. It cuts down a huge amount of time for actually researching content. So what I'll actually do a lot of the time is I'll actually use the one-click blog writer to give me ideas of what to write about if for some reason I don't know what I should write about on a particular topic. So let's say for instance, I'll give you an example now. What I did before this video is I just went on the one-click writer, I clicked on it, and you just type in one headline there. And then from that headline, it'll spit out an entire article. So I literally just wrote how to wash your car as the headline. And it spat out this article for me with no other inputs, just the headline. And it's actually done gather your supplies, pre-rinse the car, wash the exterior, cleaning the windows and mirrors, dry and finish with a protective wax. And then it's got FAQs. How often should I wash my car? Can I use dish soap? And this is correct. I know from actually knowing about this topic, this is correct. So the information is good. Should I wash my car in direct sunlight? This is also good. Is it better to hand wash? This is also good. Can I use a regular sponge? This is also true that it holds dirt debris. So the information is actually true. And what I find in my experience is that the information that it spits out 99% of the time is actually factually correct. There have been very few instances where I had to double check something that I wasn't sure on. And it's usually a FAQ about something very specific, like a specific law in a specific country or something like that. That's the only time I've ever found I've had to double check content. 99% of the time the content spits out is actually very good. So it can give you really good ideas like this. This is a whole article written just from one headline, which previously, if you had no idea what to write about, now you've actually got a whole article. So that's what's really good for on that. Now, it has a lot of great features as well. Like it'll actually scrape videos. It'll scrape Amazon products. It's got bulk blog writers where you can just put in URLs and it'll make you a bunch of blogs based on those URLs. And it's got a whole bunch of other features as well, which you should go check out. 
go and check out my other videos if you want to know how to use some of those. Now, probably the most important one here is that the articles it produces actually do rank. So I have now made at least tens of articles for various websites, which I've used them writer to write the article and they are actually ranking on page one of Google. So they, it does work. I'm telling you it does work. Now, the other good thing about it is that it's constantly being updated and getting better. So this iteration of Zimwriter is actually quite different and has a lot more features than the first iteration I got a couple months back when I first bought it. So Matt's constantly upgrading it and adding new and new and better things for it. And what's also interesting is that it actually got a lot better in terms of the content it spits out in the last couple of weeks. So previously I found it to be more hit or miss, whereas now it's been a lot more consistent over the last couple of weeks. So you must've tweaked something in it, or it could be the fact that it's now using chat GPT four, at least on my side. And so the content it's spitting out is a lot more consistent and a lot higher quality, which is really good too. Now, the last point I would put on the pros is that it actually adds some personality to the text, which can be very good, but at other times it can be a little bit over the top. So to show you what I'm talking about, if we go back to this article, what you can see here is if you take a look at the intro, if you read this, it sounds like a person wrote it. Like, are you tired of driving around in a dirty car? Well, it's time to roll up your sleeves and give your ride a sparkling makeover. And this article will show you how to wash your car like a pro, grab your supplies, pre-rinse, wash the exterior, clean the windows, finish off with a protective wax, follow these simple steps and you'll soon be turning heads down the road. Like that's a pretty specific slang term that the AI has picked up and used in this article. So that's actually pretty impressive if you think about it. Now, a couple of cons that I have noticed. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying, I think these are all very minor points, but these are cons that I want to point out so that I'm being straight up with you and you know that there are obviously some things, nothing is perfect. So the quality of the content can be a little bit inconsistent. Now, like I said, it has got a lot better in the last couple of weeks. So in the last few articles that I've spat out, especially using ChatGPT4, I found that it's been almost perfect. So I can't actually criticize it on that. But in the past, in the last few months, there has been the occasional article that will spit out that's not very good and I'll have to rerun it or I'll have to rerun parts of the article. So sometimes I'll have an article where I put like the H1 and a bunch of H2s and some of the H2 sections are not very good. So I have to rerun them in the new article and try and get a better variation. So that does happen or it did happen sometimes. However, that could be something that's largely resolved. Now time will tell. What I've also found is that some of the content can repeat itself through the article. So this usually happens in the H2 sections where you have two H2s that are on a similar topic. And what will happen is it'll have the H2 section that it writes. It's basically exactly the same thing on both of them. And so basically what you'll need to do is go and rewrite one of them or rerun the article or use the one click blog writer article with just that H2 in it to get some new unique information to put in that section. So you just need to be aware of that, read through the article and just make sure that it hasn't repeated itself multiple times because I noticed that that happened a few times over. So I also wouldn't use it for sales pages where copywriting to convince people to buy something is necessary or at least it will need heavy editing. So this content is optimized primarily for SEO in a blog writing type format. If you're actually writing a sales page where you're trying to sell a product or a service, I wouldn't necessarily use the content from Zimwriter. I think that if you're trying to evoke emotion and do all those things, which to be fair, this is not what it's made for, but if that's what you're trying to do, then I wouldn't rely on this to do it. So it's not really a con of what it is because that's not what it's for, but it's just a point you need to be aware of. Now, I would also say that the articles still do need some editing. I wouldn't just copy and paste the articles directly from Zimwriter onto your website and expect it to be 100%. There are things that you do need to edit every now and then. Not all of the information is always 100% correct, especially if it's some very specific things relating to like your location or any anything else. So you wanna just make 100% sure that everything is done. So you do need to edit it. Now, the interface of Zimwriter is a bit raw. So this depends obviously on the individual. I personally don't mind it too much because I know I can use it and I know how to use it, so it's fine but it can be a bit raw compared to some other tools that are obviously more polished and more focused on user experience and things like that. So you just need to be aware of it. You can definitely use it and there's nothing wrong with it, but you just need to be aware that it's not as polished as some other tools. Now the FAQs in the articles can sometimes be a bit off from the topic of the article. And what I mean by that is you can have a particular article like how to wash your car, for instance, that I showed you before. And one of the frequently asked questions might be something like, does wax really protect my paint? 
I'm just giving you a, a random example, but you see what I mean? It's kind of related, but it's not really, and it's kind of far out there. That's an example of something I've found that happens quite a lot with the frequently asked questions. So a lot of the time you'll have to cut out quite a few of the frequently asked questions or rerun it again or put them in manually, something like that. So a lot of the time I'll actually go to chat GPT and actually do some FAQs manually based on the keywords that I found because unfortunately Zimwriter didn't spit out the ones I needed for the particular article. Now, the last point I would say is that on the one click writer, which is the one I showed you in the example of how to wash a car, often the keywords in the title are not in the actual H2s and then the H2s would be better off being H3s under a more appropriate H2. So to show you what I mean by that, here's an article I just ran, the how to install a water heater article. And basically if we take a look at the H2s here, you can see here we've got the H1, which is how to install a water heater, but then the H2 is safety precautions. And then the next one is gathering the necessary tools and materials, removing the old water heater, installing the new water heater, testing and finishing touches. Now, you see the problem with these is these do not have a keyword like water heater installation or water heater install in the H2s, which are typically what you want for an article rank. You wanna usually have the variations in the H2s. So usually what I will do in these instances is I will take this, this would be the H1, then I'll actually insert another H2 in here, which would be like H2, I'm just writing it here, obviously it wouldn't say H2, and it would be like the process of installing a water heater. And that would be the H2, and then these would all be H3s below it. And that's how I take care of that, and that has worked for me but I just wanna make you aware of the fact that this is what happens on the one click blog writer. Now, you can get around that by using the SEO blog writer and specifying which H2s and H3s you want, which is typically the better route to go anyway. So you should usually be doing that. And I show you how to do that in that video I mentioned. So click that link in the description to watch my video on how to use the tool to write articles like that. But basically, that's how I would do it. I'm just making you aware about the one click blog writer because that's something that could probably be improved. I'm not sure if it's a software limitation or what it is, but I have noticed this in my experience. So overall, overall, I actually really highly recommend Zimwriter. I use it as my main content writing tool. I also think that if you're outsourcing content or training someone up to write content for you, I would probably just give them Zimwriter and have them edit the articles because that's gonna save you a ton of man hours and you won't have to pay them like four hours per article for their labor. You can just pay them like one hour to edit it and upload it onto your site and they'll cut out a lot of time and cost on your end. So that's my opinion of Zimwriter. I use it and I recommend it because I think it's very good. If you wanna get it, my affiliate link is in the description below. If you get the lifetime access, you actually get $15 off if you go through my affiliate link. So if you want to get it, just click that. Otherwise, if you want me to coach you on how to run profitable SEO and Google Ads campaigns for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. If you'd like us to do your SEO or Google Ads for you with guaranteed results, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.